Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. This is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. Hope you all are having an enjoyable day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are and I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are doing um, or asking the question, what does spirit want you to focus on at this moment so uh yeah so we have three piles here to choose from we have the first pile here with the purple heart emoji the second pile here with the black heart emoji and the third pile here with the green heart emoji so feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so keep in mind that this is a general reading so not all the messages will resonate and that is okay just take what does leave what doesn't do not make it fit if it doesn't fit i am available to do personal readings for you if if you feel guided to get a personal reading um, from me, that information will be down below as well as all my other information. Um, and then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing um, to all my newcomers. Welcome. Thank you for supporting me in any way you felt guided to do so. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all so much. Um, so yeah, so uh, without further ado here, let's get on to her reading. Hello, pile one. If you chose the purple heart emoji, this is your reading for um, what spirit needs you to focus on right now. So I'm definitely getting two different situations, but I think the underlying, the underlining foundation is the same. So the first situation I'm getting is that spirit wants you to focus on where you're deceiving yourselves, whether... And this is in regards to some type of relationship, some type of commitment. Um, so for some of you, you may be deceiving yourselves that you don't want to be in a commitment, but you actually really do. And then for others of you, I feel like you're in a commitment that you don't want to be in or you need some space or something. You need some time to yourself. You just need to be in solitude a little bit and you don't know how to tell your person that you just need some time and some space to yourself. So you're kind of well not kind of that's you know you're like deceiving yourself and you're deceiving them instead of just being like transparent and honest and just having an honest conversation about it so i'm getting those two um scenarios and the the main like thing about this is that spirit wants you to focus on your you like you not being honest with yourself because it's coming from your pride it's coming from your ego since pride is um the first card we have here and it is a number seven and again that speaks to me about solitude i also feel like you could be seeing a lot of sevens and a lot of fours and that spirits um like sign for you i'm hearing awakening so i do feel like a lot of you need to spend some time by yourself or just if you're already like you know in solitude or you know spending a lot of time with yourself it's time to get deeper because you are awakening to a deeper truth that you have been avoiding within you if that makes sense so with um with pride here this is about like again like your ego like I'm, I'm getting like humility is called for um this could be really like i'm just getting like i want to say arrogance i don't know why but it's like deception it's like it's it's a very harsh energy and it's not a conscious thing um it's like you're not conscious of it so you're i feel like you're not conscious of your maybe telling yourself certain lies that aren't helping you it's like you you think you're telling yourself the truth but deep down you're not <laughs> um it's like you're it and it's i don't know it's really eating away at your energy i feel like it's really just a very harsh thing i feel like this is temporary as well not to make this sound like so serious but i do feel like this is temporary i do feel like um it comes across to other people as being arrogant maybe or feeling like you are more in charge or you have your shit together than you actually really do or just feeling superior to others in some way it's a, it's 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 a very like judgmental harsh unteachable type of attitude you're carrying but i don't think you're aware that you're carrying it or you're not seeing it that way but i definitely feel like that's what spirit is wanting you to focus on right now so they need you to spend some time really like considering the fact like where have you where has your pride been leading you astray where have you been lying to yourself where have you been judgmental towards yourself because this is all about how you treat yourself and however you treat yourself is how you're going to treat others so i definitely feel like 
it's like where are you lying to yourself that you like don't want to be in a committed relationship and you actually really do and then you try to like overcompensate by like however you try to overcompensate or you're in a relationship and you really want some time alone or you honestly or maybe you want to break up and so you overcompensate by like being there for your partner like 24 7 so that they don't catch on that you want some time alone or you want to break or you want to take a break or you know what i'm saying like there's this like overcompensation and this judgmental attitude you have about what you really want and it's something that you are projecting on other people or other people are perceiving it this way um so humility is really called for right now i also feel like there could be some i feel like you're afraid of a disagreement whatever this may be and it could be with another person i am getting this as like a relationship or you know some some type of significant relationship it's like there's this there's this like under i'm getting like a passive aggressive energy like um it's like one or both of you are always trying to prove a point or defend a point or think you're always right. It's like this is like something happening here that needs to be reflected on, that needs to be looked at, that needs to be reevaluated, but alone. Like not and alone, like you you know, like we can spend we can be alone and not spend time with ourselves. We can be alone and be on our phones, watch TV, like, you know, distracting ourselves from really listening to what our soul is trying to tell us. I feel like solitude is about really spending time with yourself in silence, like no phone, no TV, um, not even a book or anything, just kind of like being with yourself because there's something that is trying to come up. And this is like a shadow aspect of yourself because pride is your shadow self and you keep stopping it from coming up so it can be released it's like you're stopping yourself from like progressing mentally emotionally and spiritually because you are judging what you're feeling you're judging the fact that you want to be in a committed relationship because maybe you were told like you know whatever you were told about committed relationships and so you know or maybe you're judging the fact that you don't want to be in a relationship anymore you want to be single you want to spend time alone um it's it's like there's this judgment here but again i definitely feel like spirit is trying to tell you to stop overestimating your importance to how you feel and learn to be less judgmental and more humble i feel like um i feel like maybe someone's been trying to get you or like give you advice but you're not listening to it or something or offer you some type of assistance but you're not listening to it either way um there's a need to be empowered here there's a need for you to empower yourself and then there's a need for you to be soft to yourself and caring and aware and gentle and recognize that you know you may need other people's support you may need a relationship you may need friends you may need not you may need but you realizing that you want these things you know in order to achieve true success or realizing that you can spend some time by yourself and still have that success maybe you're spending too much time around friends or family or with your significant other and you just need to kind of get back to yourself and get back to your truth and you know heal something it's whatever you're being called to do it's going to lead you to success and it's helping you to heal something that is deep within you like a shadow aspect of yourself um with the discontent and boredom it, it that's what is that that is the four of cups i believe and the four of cups is all about evaluation it's all about wanting something but maybe not thinking you can get it or paying too much attention to what is really important i feel like it, it, it's a very and with this card it's like see how it was it said it says discontent and boredom i feel like you're very discontent and spirit is wanting you to pay attention to that because that means you're missing something that means there's something that's trying to come up but you keep because you're letting the boredom get the best of you you keep trying to distract yourself or tell yourself a different story if that makes sense it's like you could be feeling a little bit stagnant or just feeling restless or impatient and like i said this could be about a relationship or this could be about the lack of certain relationships you want in your life or it could be a project or just a situation that you feel is like draining you in some way it could be emotionally it could be energetically um and you just need 
and it could be like the relationship with yourself it could be the relationship with your phone it could be the relationship with you know social media it's like something is draining you and you need some time to yourself and i feel like you've been longing for this change especially since we have a vis- visualization and it's manifested i feel like one door is definitely about to close and spirit is like don't focus all your energy on it It, because it's an opportunity to pay attention to another door or window or something like another window or door is going to open up but it's like your awareness isn't in the right place or you're not focused on the right not the right thing but you're not focused on where you need to focus if that makes sense i feel like you could easily you're missing something basically so definitely watch out for synchronicities because i feel like sevens and fours even twos um are very going to be really significant if you're seeing a lot of that that's a message and pay attention to how you feel or what you're thinking when you see those synchronistic numbers or events or whatever the case may be because i feel like spirit is trying to bring you new people to give you advice on what's going on or how to handle a situation or kind of just um reminding you about how you really feel or what really is going on within you if that makes sense and i feel like um divine timing is at play here as well and i feel like everything is changing or you just feel like everything's changing and you don't feel the same way you once did and i feel like you could be judging it and it instead make time for it make space for it be in solitude just like let it come up because it wants to be heard and it wants to be seen like feelings just want to be seen and heard and acknowledged and then they'll just you know dissipate but when you suppress it and when you like judge it or when you try to deflect or ignore it that's when it becomes louder and louder and that's when we get into like the four of cups energy so this is basically spirit reminding you that it's time to reevaluate and search within your heart and soul for some new insights because there are some things that want to show up for you um and like i said they are things that you have manifested because we have here new desired reality is already present in your life vibrational alignment astrology gives edge you're already where you need to first of all you're exactly where you need to be but whatever you're trying to manifest whether this is a relationship or more time to yourself or just a a better self-care routine it's already here for you but you're so focused on like the judgment of it or the lack of your relationship or the lack of you know the lack of something that you're not taking advantage of this opportunity right now so spirit is really wanting wanting you to like visualize seeing yourself achieving your highest possible outcome your highest possible desire um experience that feeling but like detach from the outcome detach from like the way it's going to show up and really um pay attention to what you're aligning with and what your truth is because there is some like deception here that's going on that i don't know why but i keep like wanting to touch it and like focus on it and and i'm trying to make room for it i feel like you're trying to make room and space for it but it's hard for you to do so because it's hard for you to come to this conclusion or this truth that you want to spend time by yourself or that you you know want to just hang out by yourself or that you actually want a committed relationship it's like you need to allow yourself to feel whatever's coming up and we do have commitment in reverse um which is a number five and five is all about change so i definitely feel like um you could have for some of you you could have a fear of commitment that wants to show up and heal itself or um or you want to break up with someone that wants to it's like it's your soul is guiding you towards this or um I don't know I just feel like there's this running away from yourself or running away from things um when things get tough or things get uncomfortable in some way and this is something that you're doing within yourself but it's reflecting in your relationship to this other person or other people that makes sense so spirit really wants you to focus on that I feel like the moon you could be very moon sensitive um astrology yeah we have astrology gives edge something about the moon like certain moons this next full moon because i feel like well depending on when you're watching this but um there's a full moon in cancer happening january 17th i believe i feel like that could be really significant for you where you're gonna come to some type of conclusion some type of like aha moment or um some important insight is going to come to you because there are messages being sent to you but i feel like you're just not paying attention to it you're like so focused on the discontent or 
the lack thereof like I was saying so really pay attention to that because I do feel like some significant changes are going to occur in the next I'm getting seven days this in 17 days um something's going to show itself to you but you have to make space for it you have to make time for it like put yourself first like really like allow yourself to feel whatever comes up without judgment and I know that takes time and that takes practice it's something I'm practicing myself but it really does help and it really does make yourself feel better and then once you feel that like honestly the anxiety the fear the you know depression whatever it is that you're feeling and harboring in your body energetically it dissipates it like really works like it's something you have to do every day, but it definitely helps and it definitely helps you to be more clear and be more like grounded in what you want and be less fearful about going after what you want no matter what and like no longer judging yourself for it. So that is what I see for you guys. So I hope this helps and I hope this resonated. Um, if not, feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Take care low pile two and if you chose the black heart emoji this is your reading for what does spirit um want you to focus on right now so i'm definitely getting like heart chakra purging so i do feel like a lot of you are in the process of healing um ascending and opening up your heart chakra space i get that um, a lot from the tower in reverse I don't know why I feel like there could be some resistance to want wants to come through I feel like you could be resisting some type of it's like you're in the process of opening your heart but there's some resistance to to opening your heart to a certain extent if that makes sense like it's opening but it wants to open more but you're kind of like not ready or resisting it or not ready to fully open up in that way because there is some painful things that want to come through but again there also are some very loving things that want to come through so i do feel like you're in this process of healing of um letting go of control issues and, and realizing your power realizing your worth realizing your value i feel like you're in the beginning of this process and i definitely feel like if you're seeing a lot of sevens that's um a very significant um number first of all it's the number of true love and i say that because i do feel like this is surrounded this is um about some type of true love soul connection relationship you have going on i do feel like there's like separation or no contact going on but there's no need for it i feel like either your person's about to come forward or you're about to come forward and talk to them i mean i'm getting a lot of messages here that you should go for it whatever you're feeling guided to do like reach out to them but i do feel like there's some resistance to that because you feel like you're not ready you are scared of repeating the same cycle you feel like things have to be a certain way you're still trying to control the outcome or um you're expecting your expectation like you're still trying to like like release your expectations basically you're, i feel like there's still some control around certain ways this is going and it's like fear like you're trapped in fear a little bit here about expanding more opening up to this person um moving forward with this person because i do feel like there's a situation here like with your person where you both are ready to move forward it's time for you both to like come together and go forward and and move outside your comfort zone and just um have a new type of relationship with this person one that's more authentic and that's very successful because we have triumph here and um this is um equivalent to the chariot card so i do feel like there's a lot of success but there's a need to like go for it and not let fear stop you or perfectionism or anything like that like you have the power to create your own reality you have to trust that everything will work out no matter what you do no matter what the outcome no matter what is said or not said i feel like there's this thing about like not trusting your power not trusting your worth but also you're still kind of going through this tower moment but i do feel like it has come to a pause or a halt here because you have kind of maybe freaked yourself out of what's coming up or um there's just a lot that's coming up and it's overwhelming to you so take your time there's no rush in this first off but i'm just saying there is a blockage here of this transformation like um and this transformation is e internal but i definitely feel like it's you're wanting it to look a certain way or be a certain way or feel a certain way and it's not and that could be scaring you or just making you doubt that you're ready for this that you're going to be successful in this that this relationship is going to be successful that you can move forward in your life i am getting a lot of movement so whether you're physically wanting to move out 
of where you live um or maybe i feel like a lot of some of you may live with your parents because i was picking that up um or you want to move forward with your person or move in with your person or something like that whatever you're cultivating whatever you're desiring is possible i just feel like you have to get out of your own way and allow whatever wants to come up to come up and it is something that is a little bit painful but you definitely have the strength to overcome it and it'll be so like a, like a light enlightenment like it's an enlightenment type of thing you're gonna see things clear you're gonna feel clear you're gonna feel a lot freer you're gonna um release a lot of fear it's like there's there's just some lingering fear here and with pay attention to signs this is a number 10 so i feel like you're seeing a lot of ones and sevens so ones and sevens could be significant 17 could be significant um 717 i'm picking up that's an that's First of all, all of those are like twin flame divine counterpart numbers to me. Um, so I definitely feel like this is in regards to a divine counterpart or like a, a very deep soul connection. You have someone that you're wanting to meet back up with them. You're wanting to come in contact with them again. You're wanting to speak to them again. And spirit is wanting you to pay attention to the signs. I feel like if you're seeing white birds or white owls or having dreams of owls or white owls, this is a sign that you should go do what you are feeling guided to do, whether it's reach out, whether it's work on work um, more on your healing, really open up to what wants to come through within your heart chakra, your heart space, listening to some heart chakra music, really sitting with yourself and being with yourself, whatever you feel guided to do, trust it and go with it because it's going to lead you to your divine counterpart and like a reconciliation and a coming together. Um, but pay attention to the signs basically speaks about opening your mind and paying closer attention to your environment, to the signs of what's going on. I feel like you're getting a lot of signs or a lot of nudges or intuitive nudges to do something, but you're resisting it because of fear. So really pay attention to that. If you feel afraid to do something, there's First of all, that usually means there's a great success and abundance and prosperity and light on the other side of that. And don't hold yourself back from getting that. Like, like go through the fear. Just feel the fear and kind of do it anyway. I know that's hard, but I definitely feel like that's a strong message. Um, I feel like your spirit guides have been... Your spirit guides know that you've been feeling lost or just sad about the direction you need to take in life or scared about the direction you need to take in life and um the decisions you need to make and stuff like that and they've heard your frustrations and i feel like they've heard your pleas for help and it, basically what they're telling you is to slow down and to stop focusing on the problem and allow a solution to just come into your reality like by you trusting yourself and you going with the flow and just doing what feels right in the moment i feel like um there's a lot of like organized synchronistic events happening and supporting you right now and but you keep thinking of the same you keep thinking in the same way you keep thinking in the same stubborn way which is trapped in fear which is like i need it to be like this or i want it to be like this i want it to feel like this if it's not like this then i can't do it that's not the case that's not true also you can do first of all whatever you want to do um and and if, fear is just an illusion like you don't it's it's like and it's it's nothing there's nothing happening to make you scared i feel like you're getting a lot of positive signs that this is your person that you should go forward that you should um reach out to this person go see this person or something like that but your fear of what to come or it not working out or whatever you're expecting is holding you back and it's like a mental game it's almost like the eight of swords i'm kind of picking up here from this card um but yeah it's definitely you're thinking in the same stubborn way that needs to change so spirit is really wanting you to relax and look at life look at your life in a more creative way and just do things that you feel guided to do without expecting any type of anything honestly just do it just detach as much as you can from an outcome to anything that you're doing um, and pay attention to any signs and signals because I feel like you're getting you could be getting a lot of signs from like songs or movies or books um, like I said nature um, animals in general people thoughts dreams visions during meditation like you're getting a lot of like spiritual help and like assistance and support and signs and um, I feel like your body is giving you signs too. I feel like you want to do something or your body is like doing something and you stop yourself midway and you're just like, wait, what am I doing? I should be doing this. Or wait, what am I doing? I can't do this. Or you're wanting to like really reach out to a person, but then you stop yourself and like your mind kind of takes over. Like 
um i feel like one you need to rest and take a break because this breakthrough like i wouldn't honestly like in terms of advice like this breakthrough will lead you to your success and will lead you to feel more calm and restful and more clear but you know if because I, I feel like right now you may be feeling called to reach out to this person but you're more feeling called to kind of sit with yourself first and just see how you feel because every time you feel called to reach out or want to talk to them or something like that like fear pops in so that's that has to be your first priority like kind of getting a hold a handle on that fear and where it's coming from and what it and where it stems from so I also feel like there's a message here, like I said, to rest, to change your diet. Um, there's just to work on challenging emotions and take these signs and synchronicities and signals very seriously because they're very important messages coming to you from your person and from spirit as well. And yeah, there's there's just a lot of challenging emotions that you're trying to cultivate and you're doing a great job, but I just think you're kind of resisting this last little bit or there's this last little breakthrough that wants to come through, but you're resisting it because I feel like you know deep down, you just don't want to feel it right now or you just feel like you don't have time or it's a really challenging emotion or trigger or something like that. But I definitely feel like one, it's going to happen regardless. Two, the more that you can just let it happen and let yourself feel it, the better you can just move through it and move past it and you can be more clear and take action to where you're wanting to go and it doesn't have to be with this soul connection this person but i do we do have that card here um it could be towards traveling it could be towards just doing something out of your comfort zone we do have go for, go for it it could be making plans to do something it could be just kind of whatever the case may be there's going to be a favorable outcome here once you get on the other side of this and once because you'll come into alignment with your truth and you're going to just do things without even questioning it without even thinking twice about it because it just feels right another helpful hint here is to write it down we do have this message as well so it says the universe has received your order know and feel it's yours and done writing brings it into physical form so i would try writing out how you're feeling and just like letting it rip basically like just writing out whatever you feel without judgment just letting yourself have that moment to be expressive and to say whatever you want to say and then like burning it and then you know keep doing that until you get it all out and you'll know when you're ready and you know you'll know when it's all out because you'll just feel lighter as you keep writing and letting things out because i definitely feel like there's some stuck stuff that needs to come out um right now that you could be resisting out of fear but definitely there's going to be success here on the other side i definitely see you going for whatever you want to go for i love this card it's so pretty the go uh what's it say going forward card um so pretty but yeah there's there's light at the end of this tunnel you know what i mean there could be it's like the darkness wants to part you're breaking through but there's still a lot a lot a little bit more to be seen here a little bit more of some breaking through to happen here but again it's like focus like the more focused and disciplined you are the more that you're gonna triumph and the more that you're gonna overcome a lot of what you're scared that you won't overcome if that makes sense and like taking time out and like spirit is with you and really supporting you in this you just have to trust yourself you have to trust your powers you have to trust what you want you have to say what you want write down what you want even if it seems crazy like write it down and just give yourself that moment like i said and know that you can have whatever it is that you want um oh my gosh what did i want to do oh yeah i wanted to read the message of going forward sorry because this is a new deck and I just I feel like there's an important message here so I'm just gonna read it really quick but I feel like it's gonna say the same thing that I was saying going forward. Oh, okay so the grassy hills so it says when you receive this card fertility productivity love health abundance fulfillment are ahead of you things are growing and expanding in your life keep going forward sometimes it may be easy to be distracted by what's occurring around you but this card indicates that it's important not to let anything hold you back from increasing the bounty in your life step up and know that your needs will be taken care of your life is escalating and intensifying in the best possible way for your highest good and i definitely feel that with the tower here but you have to allow it to happen and you will be 
able to handle it. You will be triumphant. You will succeed. You will grow. You will overcome whatever this is and you will have what you want. You just have to trust. And I, like I said, I definitely feel like this is in regards to a soul connection because like I said, we have that card here and it is a number 42, which reduces to a six. And when this card come out, comes out, it speaks about like, again, a soul connection, soulmate, twin flame, feeling a deep soul connection with someone. And, um, there's many different types of soul connections and everyone has like a different meaning for them, but I feel like this is a person from your past that, or like you definitely have shared a past life with this person. You've known this person for a long time. Even if you've just met, it just feels like you've known this person. I definitely feel like, um, you feel very comfortable with this person. I feel like there's there's a familiarity here and i feel like this is like something that's kind of meant to be or meant to come together you're meant to meet in this lifetime you're meant to be together in this lifetime and i feel like you're meant to experience things in order to learn lessons from this person this person is a great teacher to you this person is someone that has come into your life to teach you to reflect to you who you really are on the inside and your truth and vice versa so i feel like this person could also be going through this they're also going through like a tower moment and a fear like kind of resisting something this fear but i do feel like this will be like if you just let it happen there will be a major breakthrough here and you're gonna like kind of just magnetize each other like just come back towards each other if anything your person will come forward to you because I feel like they're wanting to as well but something keeps stopping them and I feel like you both are going through the same thing like you're wanting to talk you're wanting to come together but there's this fear and every time I say that there's this like tightness in my chest so I definitely feel like it's something in your heart chakra so maybe there's some forgiveness that needs to take place I feel like you could be holding on to some resentment or fear around how this person treated you in the past that needs to be forgiven or something like that um you both are this is something you both are dealing with and I definitely feel like like um cycles like this is a phase that will pass you know what i mean and i definitely think the moon cycles are also important as well um but definitely you're you're going through a cycle or phase right now where there's something that needs to have a breakthrough like a breakthrough moment needs to occur and you're being supported by the universe and by your spirit guides to allow this to happen because it's going to give you what you want. It's going to help you move forward, especially when it comes to this connection. And it's going to help your person as well because they're picking up on everything that you're doing. You both are very strongly connected, very telepathic. So whatever you're thinking, your person is thinking. So the more that you can release a lot of doubt, worry, negativity in any way, the more that your person can as well. And yeah and the rest is just whoever i guess whoever comes forward first it's honestly up in the air it could be you it could be your person but there's something that needs to like break down first before you both can come together but yeah so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile three and welcome to your reading if you chose the green heart emoji this is your reading for what does spirit want you to focus on right now so we have a very very strong message of hope um we have hope twice actually we have hope here number 17 and then we have hope here number 31 but it is in reverse and then we also have the star number 17 so um which hope is the equivalent to the star in traditional tarot so we have like hope three times here so 17 is a very significant number if you're seeing that number a lot that is spirit um asking you to keep the faith to have hope to believe to know that you are connected to a higher power and to um, believe in like a higher power don't believe all in what you see in the 3d because you are an energetic vibrational sovereign being who um, can manifest and desire and create whatever you want to create and you can live the life of your dreams I don't know why I'm giving you this speech but I definitely feel like it's something that some of you need to hear um, also with the fool here I definitely feel like you're hoping for a new beginning you're hoping for a redo you're hoping for a fresh start in some way and it's like there's a there's a message here about getting out of your head and getting into your heart and remembering who you are remembering to take a leap of faith and to have hope and when 
take one step towards the gods they take like 20 steps 12 steps towards you so it's like you have to have faith on this new beginning and like take a leap of faith with something there's something here about taking a leap of faith i definitely feel like there's going to be some news or incoming message something that's going to change your reality something that's going to first of all require you to take a leap of faith but also like it's something that you've been wanting and hoping for and manifesting i feel like it could be it's definitely it's a surprise i don't know if this is going to be a surprise i think it could be a surprise as to where it comes from um but i feel like this is something you're wanting and you're expecting but i, I feel like you may not be expecting it from that person or that situation or something like that it's like coming the carrier of the message is going to be different than what you originally anticipated but i definitely feel like this also could be an invitation somewhere or some type of insight some type of gift it's like it could be a connection it could be you can finally hear from your person you've been in your head about it for so long i feel like a lot of you are worried the last time you were with this person that they didn't find you attractive or they didn't have a good time because we have sexuality here which i'll get to in a minute but there's something here where you're worried about whether this person find you found you attractive or um finds you attractive or likes you or finds you sexy or appealing or it's there's a thing here about worth and value and your self-esteem so i definitely feel like you've been in your head a lot about it you've been like i'm getting like headaches like overthinking a situation but i definitely feel like spirit is sending you a message and you're going to overcome that as long as you have hope and faith and realize who you are that you are a guiding light that you are source energy that you have the universe within you and you you are whatever you're wanting this other person to see you as you are whatever you're wanting to um whatever you're desiring like that lives within you you are that thing um or place or situation or invitation or message like because we also have high vibes and this is about surrounding yourself with positivity and connecting with yourself and source so i definitely feel like connection to source is important here um it's also about your tribe like i feel like you could be coming into like a soulmate or your soul tribe or your soul family or something like that is guiding you and helping you i feel like you could be wanting to meet some a soulmate or wanting to meet someone from your soul family that's definitely coming in here but you have to keep the hope keep the hope and keep the faith like really connect with yourself really spend time with yourself really sit with yourself and realize like your worth and like where you come from and your truth um I feel like that's just and like see the bigger picture in things especially with diligence here um this i don't know what this i want to say it's a crane but i'm not 100 percent sure but anyways this bird is flying above like seeing like all like seeing the bigger picture and like diligence is all about like perseverance it's all about keep going it's all about discovering your truth don't give up on yourself and kind of get out of your head there will be a resolution to something i also see this here and i also see like um in terms of sexuality this card I, I love this card it's so beautiful but this card speaks about um how sexuality is a natural part of life and to embrace it and enjoy your intimate nature be sensual be passionate you know take time to explore your sexuality in whatever way you feel given i'm getting dance i'm getting i'm coloring for some i'm getting painting i'm getting art um again get into your heart space and out of your head and just flow and go with the flow and realize how beautiful and sexy and attractive and passionate you are like you are and it's not because of how you look or anything you do it's because of it's just your being it's just your essence it's just your nature to be this way so you have to like believe that connect to that um there's a strong message here about like looking into how you feel about yourself like again like do you feel sexy do you feel attractive do you feel happy with your body are you judging yourself like way too harshly because i feel like this five of swords you may be judging yourself a lot and like i said like you are attractive and it has nothing to do with your outside external circumstances or how you look it's all about what's going on with it within like when you feel sexy within anything you do without is just gonna be sexy or um whatever or passion or sensual whatever the case may be so I feel like and and for some of you this could be you being in a relationship and you needing to bring some romance back or spice things up or um it, there's like this seductive like wanting to be fulfilled sexually I'm getting here and it's like this 
type you want to just experience something that makes you feel alive and exhilarated and almost orgasmic whether this is like an actual orgasm or just something else i feel like there's a need to like let go of your defenses and fears around being intimate with yourself so you can be intimate with your partner and i feel like there's could be this fear of intimacy or you're just overthinking it instead of just going with it and flowing with it it's like you have to relinquish control you have to div like dive into the unguarded territory of like blissful passion like creativity is a big thing here so this could be like sacral chakra stuff so really try to get into your creativity here um and like communicate with yourself about how you're feeling like or communicate with your lover or just find new and exciting ways to like thrill yourself so you can thrill your person if you're with someone if you're not if this is about romancing and finding yourself attractive and knowing that you're sexy just um by being just by who you are and just finding things that you like about yourself and really focusing and bringing out those things and sharing those things with other people um but with hope being in reverse here again 31 so four so it's like 17 the number 17 the number four could be significant because sexuality is four and then we have four here um those are numbers to pay attention to i feel like spirit is really asking you to um when you see um, sorry for that interruption but yeah so spirit's really asking you to focus on your spoken focus on those numbers because i feel like they're spirit's way of telling you that um like everything's gonna be okay like everything is going to be more than okay everything's gonna work out for your highest good but i feel like there's this this feeling of hopelessness and it comes from like being in your head and overthinking something or like giving up on love or like wanting to quit or end a relationship which could be the case for some of you some of you you may want to like break up or like separate which i'm getting that message a lot lately um for like collective reads and just personal reads but um yeah there could be this calling for you to like want to be free from a certain situation or relationship and just start over but i feel like for most of you this is about um wanting just to kind of spice things up in your love life or be with this person or hear from this person um and not wanting to feel hopeless like this is never gonna happen you're never gonna hear from them not giving up on love like spirit does not want you to give up on love they don't want you to give up on yourself they don't want you to give up on whatever it is you're wanting to manifest they want you to stay in high vibes they want you to connect with them connect with source um listen to some frequencies or some meditations and really know that like you're going to make like there's a significant connection coming in for you and i feel like this is you with spirit but i also feel like this is going to manifest with another person it could be your person of interest or it could be like i said someone that you weren't expecting that has something important to tell you that maybe really likes you that has that wants to invite you somewhere that has some insight for you it's some type of gift but you just have to be open to it and you have to know that it is true and it's coming true um so just yeah just take it easy on yourself we all feel hopeless especially during these times um we all feel like we're just in our heads overthinking something but the more that you can just feel and get into your body and get into spirit and just spend time with yourself and do something creative do something that makes you feel good do something that makes you feel alive do something that makes you feel attractive sexy smart you know just make do something that makes you feel good about yourself the more that you can be in that high vibe and then like you can just be open to a lot of possibilities and hope and that guiding light because this hope card which is the star card is all about like you coming back to source you realizing that you are source you are all the things that you want to create desire that you want to have that you you're like you're everything like the universe is in you i think you just have to like again have hope and have faith in yourself and diligence but yeah so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to um pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care